What's up with you guys? It's me, Anne Catherine, your Wanderlust Traveler. And as promised, we are going to have an in-depth review with Canon G7X Mark II. I am so excited with you guys. And if you haven't seen my unboxing video of this Canon G7X Mark II, go ahead and click the button right there. And right now, we're going to have the test of the Canon G7X Mark II, not a professional because I'm not a professional right here. I'm just a content creator. Um, just not a pro. And yeah, let's do this. I already write all the things that we're going to test in Canon G7X Mark II. It's just the basic one. We're going to test the image quality, the audio, the low light, the lens width, the track focus the autofocus, the stabilization, and the zoom. So to make this possible, I'm going to compare the Canon G7X Mark II with my old camera, the Canon EOS M10. So here's the Canon EOS M10. Yeah, so this is my, um, this camera is with me for three years already, I think. And this camera really, um served me well but the problem of this camera is a stabilization and the autofocus is a little bit okay but yeah let's do this by the way guys i'm going to test the two cameras using a handheld i don't have a tripod right now because all of my tripod are broke and the one that i ordered is still on the way so let's just use a handheld testing Okay guys, so this is, I'm going, I'm testing now the, what I'm testing, the image quality. So let's just um, test first the image quality indoor. So as you can see, there is not much light in my room right now. Um, all the curtains are closed. So let's do the indoor testing quality. As you can see in my G7X okay i'm looking right now in the screen i'm sorry if i'm looking at the screen because i want to see the difference actually it's a huge difference <laughs> so for the canon g7x the color is so amazing i can see perfectly the colors while the canon eos m10 it's like it has colors, but it's more on the white. Well, on the Canon G7X Mark II, it's a little bit purple or pink, but the vibrance of Canon G7X Mark II is more appealing than the Canon EOS M10. It's a little bit wash off for the EOS M10. Yes. So let's do um, the audio. Um, for the audio, indoor audio, because I'm also going to test the audio later outside because it's so windy outside. Let's see how much it will get my voice with a lot of wind outside. So yeah, this is my voice for Canon G7X Mark II. So what do you think? And this is my voice for the Canon EOS M10. Hello! <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy testing. So, yeah, I'm checking my list because I might forgot. So I need outdoor later. Outdoor. And for low light. Okay, guys, I'm going to get the exact um, situation of my room right now with my phone of how not very dark but okay let's go inside my room i'm gonna show you with my phone what is really the light inside my room that is really dark so wait a moment i'm going to take a video of my room back so now i'm gonna take you to my room over there and let's see who picks up the best low light so i'm gonna i'm gonna hold you handheld okay so bear with me 
So we're now going in the room. Oh my god. So this is the darkest part of our house. Let me see. Okay, let's compare the low light situation here. For my Canon G7X Mark II, it, the color is still there and... Wait. Yeah, the color is still there and the light is very nice. And for the Canon EOS M10, the color is there. It's still white, wash off white. I can see that... I'm not sure. I think I like the... I think I like the Canon EOS M10 low light capability because it's I, I can see clearly however the Canon G7X Mark II it's it's a little blue or purple mm, yeah I think Canon EOS M10 is great for low light mm -hmm. if I get closer uh, okay if I get closer it's not focus uh, it's focusing but I can see a little bit of noise around there and then if I go here okay focus um, I'm not sure but I cannot see any noise mm hmm what do you think guys which one is better for low light okay so let's go back outside <laughs> that is for the okay that is for the low light okay let me check the low light so let's talk about the lens width using handheld so when I say lens width it's like what can the lens capture at my back how long how wide the lens can capture at my back if, if you know if you're vlogging you're always pointing the camera actually near you or if you handheld it's near you if you're using a tripod or a monopod it's a little bit far because you're just holding the monopod like this but if you're um ha just holding the camera by itself well it's gonna be so near with your face so let's see how wide the camera can capture for canon g7x mark ii i'm a little bit near to the to the lens while the Canon EOS M10 the lens is nice the lens width is nice it really get a lot of backgrounds right there uh-huh and the space so okay can you see the door of the Canon G7X Mark II it's already half well my Canon EOS M10 I can still see inside my room see mm, now you see so okay guys I am here outside and I am checking the image quality outdoor of the two camera so right here is the Canon G7X mark II. the color is okay i mean the vibrance the color quality the saturation is very nice i can see clearly everything however the canon us m10 the color is still washed off i mean it's white wash off so let's go to the um very light area right there and let's see so okay so this is the very lightning situation <laughs> lighting situation right here um okay i can see i'm not sure i can see that the canon eos m10 is a little bit lighting and the canon eos m10 it's adjusting to light and let's go to the shade part okay uh-huh um, hmm. okay that is great but as you can see <laughs> the lens width is still different so let's now check the audio I'm having a hard time holding these two cameras right here so 
because it's <laughs> it weighs so it's so tiring to carry these two cameras so let's try to test the audio outdoor okay i'm so dark in here in this canon g7x mark ii but the light here in canon us m10 is okay now i'm confused which one is better <laughs> so let's try the audio of canon g7x mark ii do you hear me so there's a lot of wind and i hope you can still hear me however for the canon us m10 there's a lot of wind hello out there how are you i hope you can hear me so i'm not shouting this is a normal voice that i could give you so yeah let's see so now guys that we already test the audio let's now test the track focus if how fast the focus is so let's find an object to focus it with okay okay let's start the comparison of tracking object let me track first the first coconut dead shell that is in front one two three who focused first Oh, I'm not quite sure. I cannot see anything clearly in the screen. Maybe I can see later at the monitor. And then let's focus the the second dead coconut shell at the back. One, two, three. I think the Canon EOS M10 did a good thing. The G7X Mark II, I'm not quite sure but it's not focusing clearly. The track focus is better at Canon EOS M10. Oh, I think the Canon EOS M10 is good for track focus. It focused immediately. So let's do autofocus with me. I'm going to take away the two cameras and then point it at me in the same direction. One, two, three. Oh, I cannot decide. <laughs> okay, so let's try walking and test the stabilization of these two cameras. I think I know who will win of this. So let's try normal walking. So this is handheld and I'm walking and I'm not quite sure uh, who is the stabilized one. I'm doing my best to um, to hold these two cameras stabilized. So let's walk right back there. Okay, what can you see? I think Canon G7X Mark II is the best in stabilization because I know that Canon EOS M2, M10 doesn't have any stabilization. So why not run? Okay, let's run. So this is my normal running. Let's see. Okay. Okay, I'm really washed off now with Canon EOS M10. Let's go back. Oh my god. This is... Oh, shit. Oh. It's a... I'm tired. So, that was so tiring. I think we already know who wins for the stabilization. I think Canon Jesus X Mark to win for this. Now let's do the last testing, the zoom. Okay. So did you see that playground right there? That one? Uh, that one, that playground. It's a playground. Let's see how zoom or how long this zoom will get it. So let's start first with the Canon G7X Mark II. Mmm, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, 
so the zoom is until there but the quality is getting not good so let's try the Canon EOS M10 so let's try the Canon EOS M10 oh until there oh my god I never thought of it so comment down below guys on what do you think who did the best job the Canon G7X Mark II or the Canon EOS M10 so if you like this video guys comparing things gadgets and everything unboxing or sit down videos please give it a like and don't forget to comment down below and guys don't forget to subscribe and for the travel videos guys next week guys next week saturday every saturday i'm posting videos i'll be gonna be uh, i am going to have a travel video next week but unfortunately this video is english however the next travel video is not english i'll just mix it english and my mother tongue tagalog so yeah that's it